Husky basketball as the Muscatine Muskies girls season begins here on the Discover Muscatine Sports Network. It is game one. It's been a crazy year, and you just got to sing about it. And we start the season off with new Mississippi Athletic Conference member, the DeWitt Central, or Central DeWitt, excuse me, Sabres, coming up from Northern and Clinton County. Welcome the Sabres to the conference, another purple and gold faction here in eastern Iowa and what I consider the premier sports network in eastern Iowa, the Mississippi Athletic Conference. Muscatine beginning their season with Susan Orvis at the helm yet again, pound for pound, one of the finest coaches in all of sports, not just girls basketball here in the state of Iowa. Her senior heavy team is one that she's going to lean on featuring Zoe Long, Riley Moss, Maddie Peterson, Avery Eagle, Emma, Emma Zillig, and Alicia Garcia making her return. Folks, of those seniors, they are all going on to play collegiate athletics in some sport. In basketball, Maddie Peterson just committed to the University of Dubuque yesterday. Uh, Avery Eagle will be playing softball at Northern State University in Aberdeen, South Dakota. Zoe Long will take her three-point shooting prowess to the former Iowa Conference. I don't. I think it's the Iowa Rivers Conference now with the Wartburg Knights. Emma Zillig, a phenomenal player on this basketball team. And Alicia Garcia committed to the University of Northern Iowa as a youngster. I think just after her freshman year, she suffered a major injury two summers ago, missed her entire junior season, and she's looking for a strong senior year here as we begin the 2020 basketball season. Coach Orvis and I uh, corresponded earlier this week. This is the first five versus five setting that her team is going to see competitively since mid-February of last year. So they've had a lot of time off. The pandemic has really created some interesting challenges for all of these teams. Central DeWitt does come into this ball game 3-0, and but Muscatine just returned to in-person learning, hybrid learning on Monday. So the, this is their first uh, action of the year. So conditioning going to be something that we have to keep our eye on for the Muskies. Coach uh, Coach Orvis said that she is concerned about that, but during the suspension of activities for Muscatine, she was really proud of how her girls, they worked out on their own. They maintained safety, you know, keeping themselves safe, but they didn't stop the work. Many of them found times to get shots up in other areas. They did some conditioning on their own, and it sounds like this senior leadership, this senior class, did a great job of keeping the entire team engaged throughout this uh, this crazy uh, COVID-19 era of high school athletics. We survived the football season. We're hoping we can get as many games as possible in, and you can watch all of the home games, Muskie boys and girls basketball here on the Discover Muscatine Sports Network, presented to you by hy V Stores of Muscatine, Lutheran Living of Muscatine, CBI Bank and Trust, Kent Pet Group, River Rehab Physical Therapy, Riots and Rebels Salon, Eastern Iowa Community College bringing you this pregame show. Bear of Muscatine, First National Bank of Muscatine, proud supporters of Muscatine Athletics for what seems like decades, our friends at First National Bank. And like I mentioned, uh, Rivo Plumbing and Heating, uh, also fine sponsors. We're just about a minute away here from the starting lineups. We're going to take a quick break. We'll be back in two minutes with the starting lineups and the national anthem here at Muscatine High School for Muskie Girls Basketball on Discover Muscatine. You know Rivo as expert plumbers, but did you know Rivo can also be your one source for complete bathroom and kitchen remodels? With professional craftsmen doing the job for more than 30 years, experienced in tile, carpentry, and of course plumbing, Rivo can transform a dreary basement into an elegant bathroom and upgrade a worn out kitchen using inspirational design and quality brands. Before you stand in line at a big box store, call Rivo Incorporated and see how a hometown professional can refresh and improve your home. At First National Bank, we strive to provide the best customer service both in person and online. Our mobile wallet offers you great features within our mobile app. Card controls, alerts, digital receipts. Mobile wallet is a free feature in our mobile app. Check it out today. There's no place like home. And Eastern Iowa Community Colleges is our hometown college. With the security we need to explore, learn, and grow, 
It's the smart choice, always delivering quality, affordability, and flexibility. Because now, more than ever, there's no place like home. And there's no place like Eastern Iowa Community Colleges, the Communities College. You know Rivo as expert plumbers, but did you know Rivo can also be your one source for complete bathroom and kitchen remodels? With professional craftsmen doing the job for more than 30 years, experienced in tile, carpentry, And welcome back to Muscatine High School Gymnasium. Joel Krausar in the Discover Muscatine Sports Network. Starting lineups being announced for Central DeWitt. Allison Meadows getting the start at guard. Along, she's number four. Number 14, Natalie Butler. Along with 22, Grace Pierce at guard. Number 32, Talbot Kinney also gets to start the senior forward. And Taylor Veach, the six-foot uh, senior, or excuse me, six-foot junior, she is the leading scorer for this Central DeWitt team at 23 points per game. She will be playing her college basketball in the Summit League as well with the Illinois State Redbirds. So some Division I talent on display here tonight. We are going to stand here for our national anthem, and then we'll be back with the starting lineups for the Muscatine Muskies. The national anthem there played nicely over the PA system. It's such a weird environment. Uh, only two spectators uh, per athlete uh, permitted in the gymnasium. So the the environment, the the home court advantage, a lot of that is just uh, just going to be challenging throughout this season uh, as all these adjustments have been made. Starting lineups for the Muskies: Senior Zoe Long, the five foot five senior guard, the sharpshooter. Grace Bodie getting the start, the junior guard, five foot seven, been playing varsity basketball since she was a freshman. Number twenty-two, Emma Zillig will also get the start, the five nine senior, and number thirty-one, Riley Moss, the tremendous defensive stopper uh, for the Muskies at five foot six, getting the start. Uh, also number thirty-two, excuse, excuse me, uh, Riley Moss is thirty-one, and there's the opening tip, controlled by the Muskies. Uh, also, Maddie Peterson, the senior, the six-foot senior, getting the start. As the ball moves back to the top of the key to Zillig, who works it over to Moss. Now Bodie works it towards the left side. Muscatine moving the ball around the perimeter. As Zoe Long thinks about the step back three. Good man-to-band -band defense right now for a central DeWitt. Curl cut there by Riley Moss. Turns the corner, she does kick it back out. Zoe Long now at the top of the key. Patience right now for the Muskies in their first possession. Bodie tries to needle that defense and now it gets back to Bodie. She drives, kicks it to the corner. 
Shot is up, and it is good. Maddie Peterson for three. Big start there for the future University of the Buke Cager. Veach brings it up the floor for the Sabres. She works it over to Pierce. That goes over to Kinney, who now gets it to Butler. They clearly want to try to get the ball into their senior, Veach, who she gets it down low. Misses the layup, rebound Bodie. But that was the look the Sabres were looking for. The Muskies push it up. There goes Zillig. She's going to draw the foul. She'll go to the free throw line as the Muskies look to build on this early lead off of the Peterson three-pointer. Muscatine Muskie basketball brought to you by Lutheran Living of Muscatine. As Zillig goes to the free throw line, makes the first one. That foul was charged to Talbot Kinney. That's her first. Zillig two for two from the line. Muscatine takes that five nothing lead. As we are here in the first quarter on the Discover Muscatine Sports Network. Pierce works it around the top of the key. They again get it inside to Veach on the post. She seals and delivers. Two points, Taylor Veach. Now Zoe Long will bring it up the floor for the Muskies as the Sabres pick her up at half court. Over to Moss. Peterson looking to post up. Moss loses her dribble, gets it back to Long. And there's Zillig back at the top of the key. Muscatine working it around the perimeter as the, each player takes their turn cutting and trying to create some space on the inside. Trying to create a matchup. There's Peterson at the high post. She hands it back to Long. Good defense there from the Sabres as Veach brings it up the floor. She misses another layup. Good rebound for Peterson. 5-2 lead here early on in the first quarter. It is the first game of the season for the Muscatine Muskies. And what could be an interesting year. Coach Orvis told me before the game that they're really – the girls do understand that there is no tomorrow guaranteed, and they learned that a few weeks ago when the hybrid schedule was shut down and they went to virtual learning and all activities were suspended. As the Muskies work it across the, the outside, Zoe Long calls out a play. Veach extended out on defense there. They get it to Zillig. Riley Moss slashes it, kicks it to Peterson. Shots up, no good. Rebound, though, by Grace Bodie, who saves it. Oh, unable to secure it. Veach will bring it up for the Sabres. Central DeWitt trails by three. Gets it to Pierce. Pierce back to Meadows, and that's going to go off of Meadows' foot, and it'll be musky ball here. Good defense from Zoe Long. Long will inbound as the Sabres bring on a 1-2-1-1 press here, trying to trap, create a turnover. Gets it to the ball handler, Long. Riley Moss does a nice job of breaking the press, and Emma Zillig now. Resets the offense. Long at the top of the key. Crossover dribble. Step back three. Good. Three-pointer. Zoe Long. Oh, she makes the step back. Looks so smooth. As Meadows brings it up the floor for the Sabres. Tries to beat Bodie off the dribble. Good defense for Muscatine. Again, Grace Bodie trying to fight through the screen. They are going to get her for a foul. So that'll be the first foul on Bodie as the Muskies lead 8-2 here with four minutes to go in the first quarter. You can watch Muskie basketball, and we're going to be bringing you other sports all season long here on the Discover Muscatine Sports Network. Swimming, wrestling, all sorts of activities here for the high school. Three-pointer up, no good. Rebounded by Zillig. That was Tal Talbot Kinney. As Moss pushes it up to Long, Long shot up, no good, but she is fouled, so that will send Zoe Long to the line, who career is an exceptional free throw shooter for the Muskies. Long, one of the leading three-point shooters in school history. I believe she actually holds the record for the Muskies. 
She broke that last year as a junior. She makes the first free throw. She leads the Muskies in scoring with four points. Make that five. Ten to two lead here as the Muskies welcome the Sabres to the conference. Talbot Kinney thinks about shooting it. And they're gonna we got a turnover. It's a three-second call. I believe was the call. So that's an unforced error there for the Sabres. As the Muskies look to extend their lead. Long brings it up. She'll get it to Moss on the wing. Down screen by Peterson. Brings Avery Eagle, who's just checked into the game. Bodie is trying to work it around the wing. Gets it to Long. Step back three again. Good for Zoe Long. And she's feeling it so far at the beginning of this early season. 13-2 lead, and Zoe Long has got eight for the Muskies. And really, for Central DeWitt, haven't been able to get the ball to Veach in their last three possessions. Meadows, she's got the shot up and good. 13-4 to four is the lead for the Muskies. As the, as, uh, the Muskies in white have done a nice job of keeping the future Illinois State Redbird out of the scoring category so far. Again, Taylor Veach averaging 23 points a game for Central DeWitt. Avery Eagle tries to drive baseline. She's defended well. And that's going to be a turnover, and it'll be Central DeWitt ball. As some substitutions come in now. Natalie Butler back into the ball game. As Grace Pierce and Talbot Kinney check out, Meadows will bring it up the floor. Also Madeline McGavin into the ball game. Emma Grace Hartman. McGavin, Veach, Meadow, and Butler on the floor. And that's going to be an offensive foul as Veach extended the right forearm on the drive. Great defense there for the Muskies. Creating the offensive foul. Muscatine looking to extend this lead here with just under two minutes to go. Moss on the right wing. She gets the ball moving. Bodie cuts inside, kicks it back out to Eagle. Good ball movement to Long. Three, good. Three for three from behind the arc, and that's going to be a timeout. Sabres as Muscatine goes on a run here to extend their league 16-4. to four. We're going to step away for 30 seconds. This is a full timeout here on the Discover Muscatine Sports Network. At First National Bank, we strive to provide the best customer service both in person and online. Our mobile wallet offers you great features within our mobile app. Card controls, alerts, digital receipts. Mobile wallet is a free feature in our mobile app. Check it out today. Almost like it knows when you can least afford. Ah, another clogged drain? Lucky for you, Rivo is always standing by. With multiple master plumbers on staff, Rivo not only handles your home-related issues, Rivo will also diagnose and design large-scale commercial piping systems. Family-owned, reliably honest, remarkably affordable. Complete kitchen and bath home improvement technicians. Because Rivo won't rest until your plumbing problems are gone. Um. Welcome back. Muskie basketball here on the Discover Muscatine Sports Network. Joel Krausar on the call all season long. We've got girls basketball here for you tonight. It's Muscatine leading Central DeWitt 16-4. to Off the hot shooting of Zoe Long, 11 points here early on in this ball game. Three for three from behind the arc and two for a two at the free throw line. We've got a stoppage of play here. Oh, we have a clock situation or... I believe on the restart, they started the ball at the baseline, and after that timeout, maybe wanted to start this at the midcourt position. So Meadows gets it over to Hartman. Hartman back to Meadows. Shot fake, tries to drive. Good defense there by Riley Moss. Keeps her feet moving. Veach at the top of the key. 
She goes to her left, comes back to Hartman. Hartman to Butler. Butler over to McAvin. Shot up, no good. Rebound Moss. The Muscatine Muskies dominating the glass so far. No offensive rebounds for the Sabres. Moss brings it to the top of the key. Over to Eagle, back to Long. Bodie brings it left. They're going to get her with a double dribble. And it'll be a turnover against the Muskies. It's number 42. Meadow Frears checks into the ball game now for the Muskies, the junior. We've yet to see Alicia Garcia, and that's to be expected for the Muskies. As Coach Orvis did tell me, they were going to bring her along slowly, get her conditioning level, and keep her knee, which was a serious knee injury. Uh, get it back under her as she uh, works to, to progress her senior year here. But with Muscatine having a 6-1 forward on the bench, they still have three other six-foot players to run at the front lines. A real luxury for this Muscatine Muskie program as we're under 30 seconds here in the first quarter. Eagle into Frears. Frears kicks it back out to Eagle. 22 seconds now as Bodie sets up the Muskie offense. Bodie, Long, Eagle, Moss, and Frears on the floor for the Muskies. Zoe Long on the left wing. Under 10. Looking for that last shot are the Muskies. Long gets it into Frears, who's going to travel. Good defense there from Central DeWitt, keeping Frears uncomfortable. So we're going to be under two seconds, and that's going to do it for the first quarter. Muscatine leading 16-4 on the Discover Muscatine Sports Network. We'll be back in 60 seconds. Almost like it knows when you can least afford. Ah, another clogged drain? Lucky for you, Rivo is always standing by. With multiple master plumbers on staff, Rivo not only handles your home-related issues, Rivo will also diagnose and design large-scale commercial piping systems. Family-owned, reliably honest, remarkably affordable. Complete kitchen and bath home improvement technicians. Because Rivo won't rest until your plumbing problems are gone. There's no place like home, and Eastern Iowa Community Colleges is our hometown college. With the security we need to explore, learn, and grow, it's the smart choice, always delivering quality, affordability, and flexibility. Because now, more than ever, there's no place like home, and there's no place like Eastern Iowa Community Colleges, the community's college. Welcome back to the second quarter here on the Discover Muscatine Sports Network. Brought to you by Rivo Plumbing and CBI Bank and Trust. Score at the half. The Muskie boys trailing Central DeWitt 29 to 26 just up the road. So the Muskie boys having a strong start to the season as well as Central DeWitt girls bring the ball up to begin this second quarter. Meadows has it. She goes off the left wing. Crossover dribble. Good help defense from Peterson, but nice finish there for Meadows. As the Muskies bring the ball up the floor. Zoe Long sets up the offense. She had 11 points in the first quarter. Over to Bodie. Emma Zilla gets it to Moss. Back to Bodie. Zillig, Moss, Long, Bodie, and Peterson, the five starters, begin this second quarter. As Veach and Peterson battle down low. Peterson gets it to Long. Long crossover behind the back dribble. Central DeWitt defensive intensity has really picked up here this second quarter. Long crosses baseline. She gets it back out to Zillig. Over to Peterson. Reverses the ball. Long with a deep three. That one's no good. Rebound Veach, and she'll turn it and go. Meadows brings it up now. Good finish at the rim by Meadows off the break. Central DeWitt now sets up that 1-2-1-1 trap. Looking to create a turnover here. 
as the Muskies, Grace Bodie gets, that's going to be a 10 second call. And that will be another turnover for the Muskies. Great defensive pressure on that 1-2-1-1 one, one, one press there for the Sabres. Muscatine still holds a 16-8 lead. As Sabres try to set up their offense. Meadows has been the offensive story the last seven minutes of this game. She's got six points. That shot's up, no good. Good box out by Riley Moss. Good rebound by Peterson. And now Long pushes it up the floor. She goes to the rim. She's going to get back to the line. That's a hard foul. So I'll put Zoe Long to the line. Natalie Butler draws the foul. That's her second foul here of the first half. Four team fouls against the Sabres, just one against the Muskies. And Long misses the front end of that two shot free throw attempt. The future Wartburg Knight, as we mentioned in the pregame. Zoe Long hits the second one, extends that lead back to 17 8. As Meadow tries to bring it up against this 1 2 2 press of, uh, of their own for the Muskies here. Kinney gets it to Meadow. Meadow over to Butler. Excuse me. That's good. Pierce. Veach shot up. No good. She gets her own offensive rebound and one. Foul's going to be on Maddie Peterson. Veach again relentless in the box. Trying to, to fight for her rebounds. and She gets the put back and the foul. Cuts this lead to seven. That's the first foul on Peterson. The lefty Veach gets to the free throw line and she makes it. Her fifth point of the ball game. And DeWitts extends that press. Heads up play by Long not to touch that after it was deflected by Veach on the front end of that press. Five thirty-one to play here in the second quarter. As Central DeWitt has really cut into this lead here at the beginning of this second half. Or second quarter, excuse me. Muskies break the press. Maddie Peterson wide open down low. Misses the shot. It's going to go out of bounds, though, so Muscatine will get another chance at this here. Peterson did miss the shot, but a fantastic job breaking pressure from the Muskie front court. Long will inbounds underneath her own basket. Into Peterson. Out to Bodie. They work it back around to Zillig. Moss at top of the key. She drives. Takes it up. It's going to be blocked. It's going to go out of bounds. So it'll still be musky ball. Avery Eagle now back into the ball game for Peterson. Shot fake by Bodie. Drive by Zillig. Shot up. And she's going to get to the free throw line. Good strong take from Emma Zillig, the senior. The Sabre bench was not a fan of that call. Her head coach looks for an explanation. Wow, Zillig makes that first free throw. Five team fouls now against Central DeWitt. As the Muskies have eyes on that one and one bonus. Zillig makes them both. And Meadow will bring the ball up the floor for the Sabres. Over to Veach. Veach back to Kinney. Meadow resets. Looks for that high screen. Bodie, good, good on the ball defense. Good dig out there by Zillig. Causes Meadow to have to reset. Meadow directs traffic. She's got two, a two-way go from the top. High ball screen. She slashes down low. Great finish from the guard over Avery Eagle. That's a fantastic take by Meadow. Cross-court pass. That's going to be another turnover on this press for the Muskies. This 1-2-1-1 one, one, one trap really giving them fits here in this early on season. And these are the sort of things that Coach Orvis kind of hinted about, about our conversation 
first five-on-five five competition for these girls really since February. And uh, some of those those kinks that you can work out in preseason tournaments and, and uh, even just having more practice time, uh, that we're seeing those tonight here in live game action. That's going to be out off of Madeline McCavin, and it'll be musky ball. Bodie inbounds it to Moss. Moss to Long. And now Bodie tries to dribble through that press. The trap deflects it, gets it out of bounds. And right now, DeWitt really dictating the tempo of this game with this pressure. Now Bodie's going to be able to get it across the timeline as the Sabres scramble back. Crossover behind the back dribble. Long with the floater. 14 for the senior Zoe Long. Pull up three, no good. Rebound by Riley Moss. Now she gets it to Grace Bodie who will bring it up for the Muskies. Great on the ball defense there by Meadow. I thought that was close to a five second call, but Bodie able to get rid of it. Gets it back to Zillig at top of the key. Moss slashes, curls, back to Zillig on the wing. Sabres trying to switch in all of these ball screens as the Muskies try to work the ball around and find the, find the opening off of these multiple screens around the perimeter. They get it down low to Eagle. Eagle comes through, and she's going to turn it over. So tenacious defense here right now from the Sabres. Veach three up, no good. Good box out there by Zillig. And that's a one and done opportunity for Central DeWitt. Muscatine leading. But the pace and the tempo really favoring Central DeWitt right now. They, they want to get up and down. They want to make baskets so they can press. And right now the Muskies go. Shot block, but they're going to get a foul on Meadow. Allison Meadows, the junior, it's going to be her first foul as Avery Eagle will go to the line. Free throws up. No good. First National Bank of Muscatine bringing you Muscatine Muskie Sports along with River Rehab Physical Therapy and Kent Pet Group. On the floor for the Muskies, we still have Long, Bodie, Moss, Zillig, and Avery Eagle makes the second free throw as they take the 22-13 lead. Muscatine really kind of surviving a defensive flurry here from Central DeWitt. Uh, and then they've called, they've answered the call with their defense on their own as McGavin now tries to drive. She gets it to Veach and Moss gets her hand in. A good save there, and Veach still unable to put the put back away. As Muscatine pushes up the floor, here's Zillig. Misses the shot. She is going to be out of bounds, though. She came back in without establishing position, and so it'll be central to whip ball. Just under two minutes here before halftime. Again, if you're just joining us, Central DeWitt and Muscatine, new conference rivals as Central DeWitt joins the Mississippi Athletic Conference. And that's a big three from all the way in Clinton County for Allison Meadows. She's got 11 for the Sabres. Burlington chose to leave the MAC, and Central DeWitt welcomed the invitation, and we're happy to have them in the Mississippi Athletic Conference. That was deflected out of bounds by Emma Grace Hartman. And so the Muskies will keep the ball with a minute 22 to go here. Joel Krausar on the call here on the Discover Muscatine Sports Network. Zoe Long for three off the far rim, and Meadows looks to push. Good defense, but that's a great take by Allison Meadows. She is taking over right now, and she'll have an and one opportunity. She goes to 13 points. See if she can get her 14th here at the free throw line as Central DeWitt cuts this lead 
to six. That was as big as 14 for the Muskies. Maddie Peterson checks back into the ball game for Bodie. Eagle, Peterson, Zillig, Moss, and Long. The five seniors on the floor for the Muskies. Zillig gets it back to Long. Long checks back with Coach Orvis. Susan Orvis calls a play. We're under a minute to go here. And that's going to be another turnover. Meadows dug out the low post feed. Now she crosses over. Scoop shot up. And she's going to go to the free throw line again. As Allison Meadows really doing a nice job of getting into the paint and creating scoring opportunities for herself off the dribble. And she'll go to the free throw line to shoot two free throws. That foul was on Riley Moss, her first. With 45 seconds to go here in the first half. Meadows free throw is good. 22-21. It's been all Sabres here in the second quarter. As they go to a half court uh, pickup here on defense. But they're extending this defense well out beyond the three-point line, forcing the ball handlers of Muscatine to really be crisp. And they've had some struggles with it here in this first half. Meadows brings it up for the Sabres. Our halftime brought to you by Toyota of Muscatine, just 20 seconds away. As the Sabres hold for the last shot, Meadows gets a high screen. She slashes left shot, handed shot up and good. Central DeWitt's going to have the lead here unless a Hail Mary shot goes in. Allison Meadows with 18 points here in the first half to bring Central DeWitt back to the lead. So that's going to be halftime here on the Discover Muscatine Sports Network. We'll be back in three minutes to bring you the Toyota of Muscatine Halftime Show. You know Rivo as expert plumbers, but did you know Rivo can also be your one source for complete bathroom and kitchen remodels? With professional craftsmen doing the job for more than 30 years, experienced in tile, carpentry, and of course plumbing, Rivo can transform a dreary basement into an elegant bathroom and upgrade a worn out kitchen using inspirational design and quality brands. Before you stand in line at a big box store, call Rivo Incorporated and see how a hometown professional can refresh and improve your home. At First National Bank, we strive to provide the best customer service both in person and online. Our mobile wallet offers you great features within our mobile app. Card controls, alerts, digital receipts. Mobile wallet is a free feature in our mobile app. Check it out today. Almost like it knows when you can least afford. Ah! Clogged drain? Lucky for you, Rivo is always standing by. With multiple master plumbers on staff, Rivo not only handles your home related issues, Rivo will also diagnose and design large scale commercial piping systems. Family owned, reliably honest, remarkably affordable. Complete kitchen and bath home improvement technicians. Because Rivo won't rest until your plumbing problems are gone.
There's no place like home. And Eastern Iowa Community Colleges is our hometown college. With the security we need to explore, learn, and grow, it's the smart choice, always delivering quality, affordability, and flexibility. Because now, more than ever, there's no place like home. And there's no place like Eastern Iowa Community Colleges, the Communities College. And welcome back to Muscatine High School Gymnasium, the, the home of the Muscatine Muskies. Discover Muscatine, bringing you musky athletics all winter long. I'm Joel Krausar on the call tonight. This is the Toyota of Muscatine halftime show. So Muscatine girls take on Central DeWitt, the Sabres, and it was all Muscatine in the first quarter, jumping out to a 14-point lead, and then the Sabres came roaring back in their first matchup as Muscatine and Central DeWitt as MAC Conference foes. Central DeWitt's Allison Meadows scores 18 points, 14 of them here in the second quarter to bring Central DeWitt with a lead here at half, 23-22. to 22. And it has just been an impressive showing for the junior guard. I'll be honest, as a broadcaster, all of my research, I was anticipating, you know, the Taylor Veach show, the other junior forward for the Sabres who averages 23 points a game, Division One basketball recruit. She's only got five points, and it's been all Allison Meadows here in the second quarter, and she's doing it off the dribble. She's breaking musket defenders down. She's getting into the paint. She's getting to the rim, and she's getting fouled and getting to the free throw line. So she's really doing a fantastic job of attacking this Muscatine uh, defense. And subsequently, that's turning into great defensive opportunities for the Sabres as they are a 1-2-1-1 attacking pressure defense. And these made baskets have given them that opportunity to set up their press, which has given Muscatine some fits here in the second quarter especially. So as the Muskies look to continue to build upon this season, it's only game one for the Muskies. It's game four for Central DeWitt, who comes in undefeated here. Uh, it has been an impressive showing, like I said, so far for the junior guard, Allison Meadows. I, w I mentioned briefly that we are your home for musky athletics all year long, and especially this winter. Schedule, schedule permitting, uh, we are looking at uh, December, uh, December 17th. You, will, you will can watch... Varsity Boys Swimming here on the Discover Muscatine. I'll be back in the gym next Friday as the Muscatine Boys take on Pleasant Valley on December 18th. That's a 7.30 tip-off. We're even going to have bowling for you this year. Uh, hopefully we can figure that all out. It's all a matter of scheduling with the uh, with the bowling alley. Uh, but we are tentatively are going to bring you boys and girls varsity bowling uh, on Tuesday, December 22nd. And also, the, then that will go through January. So hopefully, knock on wood, these these student athletes here at Muscatine High School will be able to, to have as much activity and uh, competition here this winter. Uh, this is the good first start. But uh, in my discussion with Coach Orvis here in, uh, before the game, the, every coach, I'm a former coach, you always preach, you know, play each day, play each down, play each play like it's your last. Well, I think that this is a great generation of student athletes who truly believe that to be true because they, a lot of them have had something taken away. They've had part of a season removed from them, whether it be last year, whether it be last spring, uh, whether it be this summer, or even just a few weeks ago when Muscatine Public Schools had to go to virtual learning and suspended all activities uh, due to uh, a rise in cases in Muscatine County. Uh, with COVID-19. So uh, they truly can play each game like it's their last because it could honestly happen someone tests positive tomorrow or the school district has to make a decision or a governor or a politician makes a decision uh, tomorrow that says you got to put the brakes on and, uh, and not play. So this is the halftime show presented by Toyota of Muscatine on the Discover Muscatine Sports Network. We'll be back in a few minutes. We're going to take another two-minute break, and we'll be ready to prep you for the second half and have some other scores around the area here on the Discover Muscatine Sports Network.
You know Rivo as expert plumbers, but did you know Rivo can also be your one source for complete bathroom and kitchen remodels? With professional craftsmen doing the job for more than 30 years, experienced in tile, carpentry, and of course plumbing, Rivo can transform a dreary basement into an elegant bathroom and upgrade a worn out kitchen using inspirational design and quality brands. Before you stand in line at a big box store, call Rivo Incorporated and see how a hometown professional can refresh and improve your home. At First National Bank, we strive to provide the best customer service both in person and online. Our mobile wallet offers you great features within our mobile app. Card controls, alerts, digital receipts. Mobile wallet is a free feature in our mobile app. Check it out today. Almost like it knows when you can least afford. Ah, another clogged drain? Lucky for you, Rivo is always standing by. With multiple master plumbers on staff, Rivo not only handles your home-related issues, Rivo will also diagnose and design large-scale commercial piping systems. Family-owned, reliably honest, remarkably affordable. Complete kitchen and bath home improvement technicians. Because Rivo won't rest until your plumbing problems are gone. Welcome back to Muscatine High School Gymnasium. About ready to get the second half underway. Joel Krausar here on Discover Muscatine as Muscatine trails Central DeWitt 23 to 22 all season long in HD. Live on your TV. The best part is, is if you're bouncing back and forth maybe on another screen with uh, that Iowa, Iowa State men's basketball game featuring Muscatine's own Joe Wieskamp. Uh, you can, you can log on to the YouTube channel tomorrow and watch this Muskie Girls game. Uh, unlimited possibilities uh, when it comes to the Discover Muscatine feed because these live forever, much to the chagrin of my wife. My voice is immortal on, on the Internet as we are ready for the second half to begin here at Muscatine as the Muskies, I believe, will have the ball to start the second half. Starting five here for the Muskies is the same as they started the game. Bodie, Long, Zillig, Moss, and Peterson with Veach, uh, Veach, Hartman, Meadows, Butler starting for the Sabres. As Zoe Long already in trouble. This defense, really the hallmark of the Sabres so far in this ball game. Muscatine continues to work the ball around the perimeter, trying to drive. Peterson is able to drive, and they're going to call a held ball. <laughs> Coach Orvis encouraging Maddie. I think coaches have to like the this mask requirements because they can give dirty looks, and the officials can't see it. Because I don't think Coach Orvis really liked that call. I certainly didn't. As the Sabres work the ball around the perimeter. They cut it to Veach. The lefty gets it up, and it's good. 25-22, the lead here for the Sabres. As Zoe Long brings the ball up for Muscatine. Well, it was a hot offensive start for the Muskies. Has really slowed down. And that's going to be a foul on Meadows, her second. Aggressive hands here for the Sabres. It's a really impressive defensive philosophy. They challenge every drive. Every pass as Peterson pops out. Big 18-foot bucket from the elbow there for Maddie Peterson. DeWitt pushes it up the floor. 
Good dig out by Peterson there from the post. As Meadows takes it away from Peterson now. Good pass. And that bucket is good for Butler. Zillig looking to try to feed the post. Gets it back to Long. Long at the top. Pierce guarding her. Now Long steps back. In and out. Good rebound by Bodie. Shot up. Block. Rebound. Veach. Veach goes behind the back. It's to McEnany. Or McAvitt, excuse me. And she's out of bounds as Meadows lost track of where she was on the floor. You know, the gym setups are different. Bleachers aren't pushed as close to, to the benches. They have the benches more spread out. Uh, you can see where it can be a challenge maybe to, to see some of the, the, the restrictions on the court just visually. Long for three. Long on the three. And that will go out of bounds, and it'll be Sabre ball. You, know, you talk to shooters, you talk to offensive players, as they work around so much of their spatial awareness is based off of their peripheral vision. And with those benches pushed further back off of the sideline, that uh, peripheral muscle memory is just not there. And so you can see why Meadows was able to st stepped out of bounds there because she's uh, her bearings are off. Good box out rebound from Riley Moss, the future Hawkeye. Going to play softball there in Iowa City next year. And that's going to be a turnover by Zillig for the travel. As Talbot Kinney gets it in to Butler. Works it back to Meadows. Meadows looking to take Bodie off the dribble. Over to Pierce. Pierce back to Meadows. Talbot Kinney thinks about the three. Works it to the corner. Little baseline give and go. Good. Well defended there by Emma Zillig. Zoe Long brings the musky offense over the half court line. After a 14-point lead now, Muskies trail by three. Peterson, back to Long. Long shot fake. To Zillig. Zillig looking to get it to the post. And great post feed there from Riley Moss. Getting it to Peterson where she could catch it and handle it and forcing Talbot Kinney to have no other choice but really just to put her knee in the back of Peterson and foul. Peterson did a nice job of getting that seal right on the block. Inbounds to Peterson, back to Long. They look to repost. There's Peterson on Meadows. Turnaround, good. And that's a major height disadvantage. The 5'8 Meadows against the 6'0 Peterson. 26-27 now. Muskie's back in this ball game. And that's going to be a foul on Zillig. Battling for the loose ball with Talbot Kinney. That's the first foul on Zillig as Avery Eagle checks into the ball game. She's going to come in for Zillig. As the Muskie defense looking for a stop here. Kinney. The Muskie defense letting Kinney have that look from three. Gets it back to Meadows. Good defense by Bodie. And we got a travel now. That one's going on Butler. Natalie Butler did a little uh, Texas two-step as she gathered for the shot. Officials all over it calling the travel. Under four to play here in the third quarter. As the Muskies look to regain the lead, Zoe Long over half court. She works it over to Moss, back to Eagle. Eagle drives left, kicks it to Bodie. Muscatine being very patient in their offensive attack. Good defense there from, Gar from Pierce. 
Avery Eagle at the top of the key. She gets it back to Long. You see the Sabres extend that defense all the way to the half-court line, forcing Muscatine to handle the rock. Shot up by Eagle, no good. Rebounded by Butler. Long three attempt, no good. Rebound, Moss. As Long pushes. Over to Bodie. Grace Bodie resets that musky offense. The Meadow Frears pre prepares to check in here for the muskies. Into Peterson. Peterson shot up and good. Great feed from Riley Moss on that. Timeout central DeWitt. It's going to be a full timeout here. We're going to take a 30-second break. You're listening and watching Muskie Basketball on the Discover Muscatine Sports Network. There's no place like home, and Eastern Iowa Community Colleges is our hometown college. With the security we need to explore, learn, and grow, it's the smart choice, always delivering quality, affordability, and flexibility. Because now, more than ever, there's no place like home. And there's no place like Eastern Iowa Community Colleges, the Communities College. And we're back as Central DeWitt calls a timeout as the Muskies able to regain the lead 28-27. And Maddie Peterson, really the story of the last four minutes here, six points. Muscatine doing a really nice job of feeding their post, giving her opportunities to get good shots. Uh, that was a tremendous feed from Riley Moss to set up the layup for the senior center for the Muskies. So it'll be Central DeWitt ball as they look to try to get regain the lead. We're now on that, uh, that teeter-totter. After three quarters, Central DeWitt leads the Muscatine boys 50-44 to as the Muscatine boys looking to start off their season with a win on the road. Hartman into the ball game for Central DeWitt. Kinney with a spin move and a left finish. Oh, excuse me, that was Veach. Taylor Veach. She has nine now for the Sabres. And that made bucket starts that three-quarter court trap. Nice job by the Muskies. Good adjustment on that press break. You get Elise Eagle into the middle there. She's a fantastic passer. Avery Eagle, excuse me. I even told her mom I wouldn't do that this year. Put it into the universe. Off the kick. The Muskies will keep the ball. A minute 50 to play here. Zoe Long looking to inbound for the Muskies. On the floor, Bodie Eagle. Moss, Long, and Frears. Long able to regain control. Meadows now switches. Long looking to take Butler off the dribble. Hartman, they got away with a hand check there. Long drives right. Scoop shot up, blocked. Frears trying to save it, but she did step out of bounds. So with a minute 18 to go here. Just can't say enough about this fantastic team here at Discover Muscatine. I show up. They've got new bells and whistles. They've got the clock now on the scoreboard. I don't think you folks realize how much work and effort goes into those little graphics that are just at the bottom of your screen. Chris Anderson and his team doing a fantastic job. As Meadows drives, she's going to draw the foul on Frears. And it'll be central to whip ball underneath the basket. That's the first foul on Frears. Two team fouls for each, each ball club here in the second half. Catherine Grau in the, into the ball game here for the Sabres. Meadows with the scoop. No good. Rebound Frears. Long pushes it up the floor. 
Eagle with the three. No good. Rebound. Hartman. Emma Grace Hartman brings it up the floor. Over to Grow. Back to Butler. And now Meadows in the corner. She drives baseline. Bodie cuts her off. Grow three. No good. Rebound. Long. Long now pushes it for the Muskies. 25 seconds to go here. Grace Bodie sets up the offense for the Muskies. Veach on long. Avery Eagle gets it to Moss. Moss back to long. Six seconds, five, four. Long trying to create her shot. Moss, she's able to get it off. The bank is no good. And we've played three here with the DeWitt Sabres. Central DeWitt Sabres leading Muscatine 29-28. We'll be back in 60 for the fourth quarter. You know Rivo as expert plumbers, but did you know Rivo can also be your one source for complete bathroom and kitchen remodels? With professional craftsmen doing the job for more than 30 years, experienced in tile, carpentry, and of course plumbing, Rivo can transform a dreary basement into an elegant bathroom and upgrade a worn out kitchen using inspirational design and quality brands. Before you stand in line at a big box store, call Rivo Incorporated and see how a hometown professional can refresh and improve your home. At First National Bank, we strive to provide the best customer service both in person and online. Our mobile wallet offers you great features within our mobile app. Card controls, alerts, digital receipts. Mobile wallet is a free feature in our mobile app. Check it out today. Almost like it knows when you can least afford. Ah! Drain? Lucky for you, Rivo is always standing by. With multiple master plumbers on staff, Rivo not only handles your home-related issues, Rivo will also diagnose and design. Muscatine Gymnasium as the Muskies trail Central DeWitt 29-28 in this Mississippi Athletic Conference girls basketball matchup between the Central DeWitt Sabres and the Muscatine Muskies. We begin the fourth quarter. Muscatine will have the ball. And it was a fast-paced first quarter, and Muscatine scored 16 points, just 12 points in the subsequent two quarters. And largely because of defensive effort like that from Central DeWitt as Emma Grace Hartman has active hands and gets in the passing lane. Crossover by Long. Long, Bodie, Zillig, Peterson, and Moss on the floor here for the Muskies to start the fourth quarter. Both teams not threatening the foul bonus here in the second half. And foul trouble, really not much of an issue. Talbot Kinney has three fouls for the Sabres, and she leads all athletes for the entire game. As Maddie Peterson drives the baseline, great defense by Taylor Veach, forcing her over the line. She kept her feet moving, kept her position vertical, and uh, forced another turnover there for the Muskies. Kinney gets it into Hartman. As Hartman brings it up the floor. Now Central DeWitt looking to maybe slow the pace a little bit. Milk that clock. As now Peterson extends to get that five second call working. Veach gets it over. She gets it back to Meadows. Meadows with 18 points. But she had zero there in the third quarter. As the Muscatine defensive effort increases. Kinney works it around the perimeter. She picks up her dribble and actually switches her pivot feet there. That's a travel that the officials missed. Kinney now crossing over. Ooh, almost carried it there. Peterson now extends to get that five-second count going. Kinney drives, and there she travels. Third time's a charm there, and it'll be musky ball. So after the Sabre turnover, Muscatine will take over. And Zoe Long brings it up the floor. Offensive set. Zillig drives, shot, she's fouled. 
She took one over the bridge of the nose there. That does not feel good, folks. <laughs> She's going to go to the free throw line to shoot two. There's, there is no worse feeling in all of life, in all of sport, than even the slightest strike to the bridge of your nose. And Emma Zillig goes to the free throw line and knocks down the front end there. It just hurts so bad. Zillig misses the second free throw. Veach with the rebound, and she'll push. Good hustle play by Riley Moss to knock it out along with the steal. Timeout, Muskies. Coach Orvis with a 30-second timeout. We'll keep it right here. Good use of a timeout as Muscatine was in a trouble spot there on the floor. Coach Orvis looking to, to keep her chargers under control and her and her coaching staff of Emily Wieskamp, Scott Morell, Rachel Hansen, and company doing what they can to get this all figured out and get their offense reset. I, I've been thoroughly impressed tonight with the defensive ability and skill of this Central DeWitt basketball team. Really active in passing lanes. Their hands are good. Their footwork is outstanding. And they just put a lot of pressure. They switch off screens nicely. And when they get a made basket, they set up whether it's their full court or three-quarter court trap. And they cause a lot of problems for any team they play, especially as skilled of a team in the backcourt as this Muskie team is. Grace Bodie now brings it up for the Muskies. Gets it over to Moss. Zillig now drives left. Kick, gets it over to Peterson. Peterson keeps the ball high. Fantastic job by Maddie Peterson of keeping that ball high, allowing her to keep it out of the mess and a, and a Sabre defender from digging it out, and she's able to get the two, and Muskies take the lead. Passes into Veach. She gets it out to Hartman. Hartman shot up. No good. Box out Zoe Long. Muskie basketball. Those little fundamentals that we're seeing, that box out by Zoe Long there to, to keep that ball in Muscatine's court. And by, by Peterson keeping it high, it's easy to want to take it to the floor and regather yourself by keeping it high. She was able to finish that layup as the Muskies take a lead with five minutes to go here in the fourth quarter. Long, back to Bodie. Bodie works it over to the left side. Avery Eagle. Grace Bodie, Zoe Long, Maddie Peterson, and Riley Moss on the floor for the Muskies. As Meadows continues to pressure the ball out. Eagle, shot fake from three, gets it back to Bodie. Pierce defending. So you see how far out the Sabres have extended this defense. Putting so much pressure, trying to get the five-second call. Making Muscatine have to work for every single offensive possession. Bodie shot fakes. They get it back to Eagle. Another timeout here for the Muskies. Understand the timeout, but Riley Moss did a fantastic job of cutting to the rim. Coach Orvis dabs her up, even though uh, it, it was all for naught as the timeout. But that was... That was a good timeout by Coach, but a fantastic play by the two seniors, Eagle and Moss. 4-10 to go here in the fourth quarter. Muscatine leading 31-29. And what has really been a fun basketball game here to kick off this early Mississippi Athletic Conference season. It's December 11th. Season was supposed to start a few weeks ago, but just like everything, who knows what's going to happen. So we're happy to have Muskie basketball tonight presented by Rivo Plumbing. Eastern Iowa Community College, Toyota of Muscatine, First National Bank of Muscatine, River Rehab, Lutheran Living of Muscatine, and High V Stores of Muscatine. Eagle now gets it, ooh, tries to post feed, overshoots it, steal by Hartman, but Riley Moss deflects it and creates a scramble situation that the Sabres are able to gather and set their offense up. Here's Meadows. She's got two high ball screens to choose from. Goes to the left, to the right with Veach. But good defense by Grace Bodie. Now here's Moss on Veach at the top of the key. 
Goes right, does Veach. Comes back to her strong left hand. Tries to finish with her left. Good defense there by Maddie Peterson, but it will stay with Central DeWitt. 3.30 to go here in the fourth quarter. This is a tight ball game. Thanks for staying with us on the Discover Muscatine Sports Network. I'm Joel Krausar. Taylor Veach, shot fake, thinks about driving, gets it out. That's Kinney. Back to Veach. Veach with nine, average is 23. I've given the Sabres a lot of praise defensively. Muscatine has earned similar praise here, really shutting down Meadows and Veach here in the second half. Has on cue Veach, strong take. And that's going to be a foul. I'm just not sure who the foul's on. I think that's going to be on Muscatine and Riley Moss. That's the third team foul on the Muskies. Moss's second personal foul. Zoe Long leading the way for the Muskies with 14 points. That was all in the first half. Maddie Peterson with 11. As Meadows drives and kicks to Kinney. Moss. And that's going to be an and one. I'm not sure who they're calling the foul on here. They called it on number three, which is not a number for the Muskies. The number that they called the foul on is not on the floor for Muscatine, so I'm not sure who they called the foul on, which makes me question if he actually saw what he thought he saw, if he can't even get the number right. So we're trying to figure out who this foul is on, and I apologize if that sounded harsh on the official. That's the old that's the old former coach in me, so I, I do apologize for that. 249 to play here in the fourth quarter. They're in a discussion. Well, what it was, if we go back, you can hit your back 15 second, back 30 second button if you'd like. There were three defenders who were straight up. They are calling it on number four. So that'll be Zoe Long, her first foul. I'm not even sure she was in that mess. Uh, but I'll go back and watch that tonight on the Discover Muscatine YouTube channel as Veach misses the free throw. So we're tied at 31 with 2.40 to go here in the fourth quarter. Zillig works it over to Bodie. Zillig, Peterson, Moss, and Long as Bodie drives baseline. Great take from the junior guard getting to the free throw line. That foul is going to go on number 14. That is Butler. That'll be Natalie Butler's third foul. Talbot Kinney now has four for the Sabres. And Butler has three. Both teams with four uh, team fouls. So we're a ways away from the bonus on both sides. Bodie makes the first free throw. 2.29 to go here. Second free throw is up and good. So Central DeWitt looking to push. Emma Grace Hartman brings it up quickly. Over to Butler, back to Kinney. Meadows on the left wing. Looking for a high ball screen here from Taylor Veach. A little pick and roll game as Meadow crosses over, gets it deflected. They do the repost. To Veach, back to Meadows on the wing. Shots up, no good. That'll be a two shot foul, though. That's a strong, strong take for Meadows there. And she will go to the line to shoot two free throws. That foul was on Emma Zillig, her second. As Allison Meadows misses the front end of this free throw opportunity, Muscatine still leading by two. That's a big second free throw there as Central DeWitt will call timeout. Central DeWitt with two timeouts remaining, Muscatine with three. And we're going to keep it right here. 
for this timeout. Again, thank you so much for watching the Discover Muscatine Sports Network brought to you by Bear of Muscatine, Riots and Rebels Salon, the, the Kent Pet Group. Make sure you check out the world's best kitty litter from Kent Pet Group, at River Rehab Physical Therapy, Eastern Iowa Community College, and Rivo Plumbing and Heating. Musky Sports brought to you by High V Stores of Muscatine as well. Give a shout out to Matt Schweitzer doing fantastic work here at High V, capping off a fantastic Freezing for Food campaign for our Salvation Army chapter here in Muscatine. All of those food donations and toy donations stay 100% here in Muscatine. Uh, it's been a crazy year for a lot of people and uh, very happy to see our community continue to support that operation. As Maddie Peterson able to keep possession and keep it alive as the Muskies shot up by Long, no good. Rebound, Veach. Taylor Veach from the top of the key to Allison Meadows. Scoop shot by Meadows, up and good. As the Sabres take the lead and the timeout, that's 21 points for Meadows. And it's still a 30-second timeout, so we're going to stay right here. I mentioned freezing for food. Uh, maybe you weren't able to contribute uh, this year to that, you, maybe because you just didn't know what was going on. Uh, if, you, if you're looking for some extra time and some extra donations, please research the food banks and the food resources here in Muscatine with the Salvation Army. Uh, the, the need uh, for good, sustainable food options for many in our Muscatine community uh, is real. Uh, I've worked very closely in my days in media in Muscatine and other and other boards that I've been a part of, uh, working with food insecure families. Uh, it was a neat. I grew up in Muscatine, had no idea how necessary our food pantries were, uh, and it's it's shocking. And you'd be surprised who in your life you know who is food insecure and uh, benefits from these food pantries on a daily, weekly basis. So if you have some extra food, extra money, looking for a good cause to donate to here in this tumultuous 2020, consider our food banks here in our local community. As Grace Bodie brings it up the floor for the Muskies, gets it to Emma Zillig, drives left, who tries to pass to Peterson and Veach with the kick to prevent what would have been an easy bucket for Peterson. Long will inbound underneath her own basket. We're at one minute to play. Inbounds to Peterson. And she is fouled on the floor. So that will not be a shooting foul. That's five team fouls now on the Sabres with just under a minute to play. Muskies trail by one. Timeout Muscatine trying to prevent that five second call. Good defense from Central DeWitt. It's going to be a full timeout. We'll take it with them. We'll be back in 60, or excuse me, we'll be back in 30 on the Discover Muscatine Sports Network. You know Rivo as expert plumbers, but did you know Rivo can also be your one source for complete bathroom and kitchen remodels? With professional craftsmen doing the job for more than 30 years, experienced in tile, carpentry, and of course plumbing, Rivo can transform a dreary basement into an elegant bathroom and upgrade a worn out kitchen using inspirational design and quality brands. Before you stand in line at a big box store, call Rivo Incorporated and see how a hometown professional can refresh and improve your home. Welcome back to Muscatine High School. 58 seconds to go here in the fourth quarter. Joel Krausar on the call here for the Discover Muscatine Sports Network brought to you by Kent Pet Group, River Rehab Physical Therapy, Riots and Rebels Salon, and CBI Bank and Trust who will sponsor our post-game show. Go see Don Sturm's Dodds for your mortgage needs at CBI Bank and Trust. Zoe Long looking to inbounds here. She gets it to Moss. They're going to call Moss for the travel, and I think that's a good call. I was critical of the officials a little bit earlier, but I think that was a good call. Good straight-up defense by Emma Grace Hartman, creating the turnover as the Sabres will now take over on offense with a one-point lead. 
Muscatine going to a full court press here. Man-to-man -man press. Grace Bodie on Veach. Making Veach handle it the whole length of the floor. Good footwork there from Bodie. They get it to Talbot Kinney. 42 seconds again. No shot clock in high school basketball. So there's a foul on Bodie. The next foul now will put Central DeWitt in the bonus. Another timeout here for the Muskies. That's going to be another full timeout. We're going to step away for another 30 seconds on your Discover Muscatine Sports Network. There's no place like home. And Eastern Iowa Community Colleges is our hometown college. With the security we need to explore, learn, and grow, it's the smart choice. Always delivering quality, affordability, and flexibility. Because now, more than ever, there's no place like home. And there's no place like Eastern Iowa Community Colleges. The Communities College. And we are back here at Muscatine High School. 40.5 seconds to go here. We do have a final from Central DeWitt. The Sabres defeat the Muskie Boys 69-60. to So the Muskie Boys fall just short in their season opener as we are at the season opener here uh, in my, at the Muscatine High School for the girls team as the Muskies trail 33-34 in what's really been a battle back and forth. Muscatine blew it out to an early lead, 14 points in the first quarter, but it's really been defense that has set the tone moving forward. The Sabres battled back, and it's really been kind of a, uh, a chess match here as now the Sabres will have to win this at the free throw line as they go into the bonus. That's four fouls on Grace Bodie now as Meadows will go to the free throw line. Front end is good. Meadows just a 66% free throw shooter on the season coming into this game. Second free throw is good. She makes them both. Extends the lead to three. That's 23 points now for Allison Meadows tonight. Zoe Long shut out here in the second half on the scoreboard. Had 14 early points, and they've really... Locked her down here in the second half. Riley Moss shot up. No good. She'll get two free throws, though. As Riley goes to the line. Again, this is the first game of the season for the Muskies. But last year, Moss, just a 14% free throw shooter. But I know that's been a major focus of her game uh, moving forward. Just four for 27 last season. This is two shots as she was fouled in the act of shooting. Front end no good. 21.1 seconds to play here. The Muskies trail by three. Second free throw is good by Moss. And Bodie's got four fouls, so somebody else really has to foul. Well, great, great good job by good job by the Sabres breaking that press and Zoe Long with the foul. Really good work there by the Sabres to get the ball into Meadows with Bodie on her. They did a screen and Muscatine had to switch with Bodie with four fouls. It was a good 12 seconds they were able to kill playing keep away. As Veach misses the front end, but a rebound by Pierce, who gets it back to Meadows. And again, Meadows just made two big free throws. 66% free throw shooter on this season. Last year, 78.5%. 73 of 93 in 2020. That free throw is missed. Good rebound. Two-point ball game here. Zoe Long drives. She is fouled. So that'll put Zoe Long to the line with 3.2 seconds left. 
And Zoe Long is a 78% free throw shooter. And going back in her career, she's always hovered between that 78 and 81% mark. So now there's a discussion. Uh, we have a foul out. So Natalie Butler has fouled out of the game. So they get a minute to substitute here. Long goes to the line. Misses the front end. So 3.2 seconds left. Long looking to make this. She makes the second. Now Muscatine's going to call their last timeout. So 3.2 seconds. We're going to keep it right here. It is a full timeout, but we're going to stay here. Really unfortunate turn of events there for Zoe Long, missing the front end of that free throw, which would have tied this ball game up. So now what the Muskies need to do is foul, go for the steal, maybe try to draw a charge on the dead ball here. Uh, there's a lot of opportunities that good coaches like Coach Orvis can draw up here. Uh, but if if the, the Sabres are able to inbound the ball cleanly the Muskies will need to foul and that will be a two shot bonus for the Sabres on this next foul for the Muskies so the next foul will be a two shot bonus and that will put uh, the Muskies if both free throws are made down three probably living in that 2.1 2.8 second mark uh, with 3.2 seconds to go on the clock here so a lot has to go White's way here as the Sabres look to to close this one out. Peterson defending the inbounds. They get it to Meadows. She's fouled by Bodie. Bodie will foul out of the game. And that will send Meadows to the line. Meadows with 23 points tonight. You know, and she's averaging... She's right about her average. She's just under her, or excuse me, she's just over her average coming into this ball game. So Meadows will go to the free throw line. She makes the first one. That's 24 points. Makes the second. 2.2 seconds to go. Muscatine needs a three to tie. Riley Moss with the three-quarter court three just short. And Muscatine will fall by three points against the Central DeWitt Sabres. We're going to take a quick break. We'll be back in two minutes for our CBI Bank & Trust postgame show on the Discover Muscatine Sports Network. You know Rivo as expert plumbers, but did you know Rivo can also be your one source for complete bathroom and kitchen remodels? With professional craftsmen doing the job for more than 30 years, experienced in tile, carpentry, and of course plumbing, Rivo can transform a dreary basement into an elegant bathroom and upgrade a worn out kitchen using inspirational design and quality brands. Before you stand in line at a big box store, call Rivo Incorporated and see how a hometown professional can refresh and improve your home. At First National Bank, we strive to provide the best customer service both in person and online. Our mobile wallet offers you great features within our mobile app. Card controls, alerts, digital receipts. Mobile wallet is a free feature in our mobile app. Check it out today. Almost like it knows when you can least afford. Ah! 
another clogged drain? Lucky for you, Rivo is always standing by. With multiple master plumbers on staff, Rivo not only handles your home-related issues, Rivo will also diagnose and design large-scale commercial piping systems. Family-owned, reliably honest, remarkably affordable. Complete kitchen and bath home improvement technicians. Because Rivo won't rest until your plumbing problems are gone. Welcome back to our CBI Bank and Trust post game show on the Discover Muscatine Sports Network. Joel Kraus are with you on the call. Muscatine falls 37 to 34 against Central DeWitt. Uh, it was a really kind of a, a tale of one quarter. The first quarter, Muscatine exploded out to a 14 point lead, and then Central DeWitt's defense able to bring them back into the game. And then the chess mask back and forth. The lead seemed to bounce back and forth that entire second half. Central DeWitt just able to outlast the Muskies and uh, hit some big free throws down the stretch to secure that three-point victory. Led by Allison Meadows was Central DeWitt with 25 points. She led the way for all scorers. Taylor Veach, the outstanding junior, with 11 for the Sabres. Muscatine led in scoring by senior Zoe Long with 15 and Maddie Peterson, second with 11 points for the Muskies. A uh, heartbreaking way to start the season for the Muskie girls, but they'll be right back at it next week. We'll be back also next Friday with the Muskie boys hosting Pleasant Valley. The Muskie boys fall 69-60 to to Central DeWitt on the road here in their, in their opener of the season. Uh, our player of the game tonight uh, was going to be Maddie Peterson. 11 points, tremendous defense, had a couple block shots, some big rebounds. Uh, but Maddie Peterson, the future University of Dubuque basketball player, she committed yesterday. It's been a big couple of days for her. Had 11 points here in the season opener. And uh, she will uh, be our CBI Bank and Trust postgame show player of the game. Make sure you like the page here on Facebook Live or the YouTube channel here if you subscribe to the Discover Muscatine link. You can also download the Discover Muscatine Android app with an Apple iOS app soon to be released on the Discover Muscatine network. You can follow all things musky uh, through those applications and on all Discover Muscatine social media or you can visit discovermuscatine.com and watch all of these games live and see the archive. Big thank you to our production crew, Jessica Minert, Chris Anderson, doing a fantastic job bringing you the images. Uh, while myself, Joel Krausar, on the call, we'll be here as much as we can all winter long. You know, hopefully the the everything will hold true, and we're able to have these games because these kids worked really hard, and uh, we want to make sure we can bring them to you. Only two two tickets per athlete available, so spectators are way down. This is going to be your best way to watch musky sports all winter long and all spring and maybe all summer and we'll just see maybe you should just always watch stuff here on discover muscatine and discover muscatine.com signing off from the gymnasium joel krausar have a great weekend everybody it's december it might snow tomorrow stay safe and uh go hawks may have just alienated a few listeners there on that one but uh we'll see y'all later <laughs>